want to spend a few minutes talking about tenon saws. We have two, our medium tenon and our full-size tenon. I want to talk to you particularly about the medium tenon, but I'll compare it to the large tenon or the full tenon. Comes in a uh, cardboard box packed in bubble wrap. Now it has a coat of oil on it. I've already taken that off so that uh, we can use it. That is the medium tenon. This is the full tenon. As far as dimensions go, the blade is the exact same in that it's 25 thousandths of an inch. The brass back and the blade on the medium tenon is 11 inches long, 12 inches on the full. The brass back is 15 sixteenths wide versus a full one inch. So this is a little bit heavier, actually quite a bit heavier. <clears throat> the saw blade is the same, 25 thousandths of an inch. The tooth configuration is the same except a little bigger starter teeth on this saw. 12 teeth per inch. The set is two thousandths per side on both saws. And the, the actual cutting face of the tooth is relaxed a few degrees to make it a little bit easier. If you're not used to doing this a lot, it takes a while to get good at a saw like this when you're moving that much wood. And the farther away the tooth line is from that heavy brass back, the more wobbly it's going to be. And most folks don't do this enough on a hobby basis to develop that kind of stability. That's the reason why we came out with the medium tenon. And by the way, you have an option on your handles. It comes standard with our, uh, what we call ebony resin. It's a composite. You can also choose the bone resin. Now this one is about 15% heavier than the black. And then for a increased price, we also offer a white oak version and a uh, fiddleback maple. Now this stuff is still in the uh, construction phase, but you can see how much figure there's in there. It really shines through. Now if you, I designed this handle for my hand. I wear a large glove. If your hand is a little bit smaller or a little bit bigger, it will still fit you fine. It's a three finger open pistol grip. That's why the three finger recesses are there for the bottom three fingers. But we make a large handle and I'll show you by comparing the standard versus the uh, large. You can see how much bigger it is. So if you've got a really large hand, this may be more comfortable for you. Now, how do you use it? Nice relaxed grip, three finger open pistol as I mentioned, index finger points down the front. Now, the advantage of a big tooth is that you have more room for the sawdust to gather as it's going through the wood. So unlike a small dovetail saw, which is going to start, stop cutting at some point, this will allow you to go through thicker wood and make a deeper cut, obviously, with the uh, extra depth. By the way, there's two inches of depth of cut on this one, two and three quarter on the tenon saw. Use your little teeth up front to get it started. As soon as you break the surface, you can then engage the big teeth. And the nice thing about that minimal set is that it tracks so well. Track, a saw that will track means it will cut straight. And a straight cut produces a flat surface, and a flat surface is what you need for a really good joint. So that is our medium tenon. It is by far our most popular. We make them right here. We make all of our saws right here. If you're serious about working hand tools, and you're going to want to get into cutting mortise and tenon joints, then you need a saw that is going to get you as close as possible to being able to join or put that joint together right from the saw. I feel that this is the best saw that you can find. I've used many. I've sold saws before, but I decided to make my own, customize it so that it would work perfectly in the hands of an amateur, in the hands of a novice, even in the hands of a professional. If you want one, order it online. We'll be happy to send it to you.